ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ வி ஆர் செட்டிங் அப் தி எஸ் ஸோ இன் ஒன் ஆஃப் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் வேர் வி ஹாவ் யூஸ்ட் தி அஜோர் ரீப்போ அண்ட் வி யூஸ்ட் தி ஜேமீட்டர் டு எக்ஸிக்யூட் த டெஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி அஷோர் ரீப்போ வித் தி ஜேமீட்டர் அண்ட் தென் வி ஹாவ் எக்ஸிக்யூட் த டெஸ்ட் அண்ட் தென் ஐ ஹாவ் காட் மல்டிபிள் குவரிஸ் ஆன் ஃபாலோ அப் வித் திஸ் particular execution so if you remember we have, we have set up the, the jmeter installed as the very first step and then we have the command line script in the second step and then finally we had the upload release artifact in the third step and then we were able to successfully run the test so the question here is repository repository during go execution we Part have and got Just this is particular step the install jmeter step which has taken a lot of time and most of the testers in my network and our most of our subscribers do not want that particular step as part of this release so they wanted it to eliminate it, but still they wanted to run the test so i have just gone through it and then i have executed the test so let's see how did i do that so to do to check that let's go back to the release so this is the release which i have created and here is the release i have created without the jmeter and this has only two steps one is the let me just take you through the pipeline so we have just two task one is the command line script and the next one is the upload release artifacts script so in the jmeter we have the jmeter command line here to run the test in the non gui mode and then we have the upload release artifactory in the setup so let's see let's run this test and we will see how does it work so i'm going to the release and then let's re execute the test so i'm redeploying it and let's run the test now so here if you see so let's start the run the test run let me refresh it so the execution has started the first step the initialization job the downloading artifacts before our command line script and then we have got the command line script as the next action where we were we are running the jmeter test and here you can see the jmeter test will run successfully so it's getting tidy up and then we are running the test at this section which is during the command line run and then we were able to successfully run the test and the results are uploaded in this file let me just show you what has happened here so here the test has got executed successfully there are no errors the maximum response time is 2 to 5 so this is just a sample test which i wanted to demo it for you so the test has successfully completed but you can see as i have already shown you there is no the jmeter so let's see how did i will show you how did i did this with the same set of steps which i did for this execution so before we move on to the video I request you all to subscribe to Little Sla YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet and like comment and share your questions in the comment and feedback please please do follow up if you have any queries and thanks again for the subscriber who has asked who has continuously asked me for this question and thanks again and now let's see how did I do that in the step by step so here the first step is creating the azure repo in case if you have already created the azure repo please do skip to the next part the setting up jmeter locally in case if you have not created your azure repo please do follow the video now so let's go to the very first step which is creating the azure repo so i'm navigating to the azure repo and then i'm creating a new project which is azure repo jmeter without jmeter so uh, you understand so we are running the jmeter test without having the jmeter in the pipeline and then this is going to be a private and then the advanced so we are going to use the git as the uh, version control and then the work item process is basic and i'm creating this project in azure repo 
and we have created it. So the next part is we will have to push all the files to our repo. So here we have the repos and this is very important because this is where we can get or we should get our pipeline or get our files into this location. So let's now go to the local machine. So here I have got, so this is the basic setup. So this is what we get, we download when we get the Apache JMeter. And one important thing here is I have removed all the other unwanted folders. So I am just keeping the bin, the extras, the library, licenses, and these three files. So this is very important. And again, again I am saying because if you have a huge volume of file to be uploaded, it will take a lot of time and there are chances where it might get broken. So make sure you have the very required file. So inside the bin, I have the required, the test file, which we I want to run for the test. So here is what I have the file. So this is the test file, which I'm going to run. So I'm having that inside the bin. So in case if you want to keep it in inside any folder, you can just keep it. And make sure you keep it very light, very simple whatever you want to run for the or whatever you require for the test just keep that alone that's more more than enough and then let's now connect the so we have created this done we have created the setup in jmeter and local and now we'll have to connect and upload the local jmeter file to azure repo so this is in progress and let's do it and for that let's open the command prompt for that let me right click on here open in terminal and then let's do a git init and then git status we will have to add these files so git add dot will add all the files to the git it will make every file to get tracked now we are ready so now git again status sorry git status and now every file is in track so let's commit to these files git commit hyphen m colon first commit oh, sorry and this first commit and we have committed all the files again get git status and there are no files to be tracked and everything is committed so let's now do the connection so what we're going to do now is go back here let's run this command so git remote origin to this file to this location so you can find it here in your azure repo just paste uh, copy it until your file because there's other line which is the git push origin uh, hyphen u original don't select that please make sure you select only the repo the git remote origin so i'm doing it now and then yeah I'm, i pasted it so now we have set up the file and then let's now push the git push origin all we are pushing it now yes the files have started to upload and the reason I'm telling you, so here you can see if the files are too heavy, it might take long time and there are chances that it might get timed out. So it's better to have it very, very simple. So previously in our previous set of scripts, so what we did is uh, we had the entire JMeter to get downloaded during the execution and we just had only just the JMX file. We did not have any other setup, but here since we are not having a we do not want jmeter to be executed every time we are bringing the jmeter setup inside the azure repo so let's go back here then let's go to the files and here we can see the entire set of files which whatever we want to run so what we have to do now is we'll have to go to the pipelines go to the releases new pipeline and under this we all know the artifact is going to be azure repos and then we'll have to choose the repo this is jmeter without jmeter and the repository is going to be again the same the default branch is master and everything else is good yeah, let's add it then let's go to the add stage click empty job let's add the tasks the first ta job is going to be jmeter uh, sorry not jmeter this is going to be the command line so we're going to add the command line so what are we going to add in the command line so let's remove this and this is a very critical part so i have the files here so what we're going to do now is this again the script is same it's going to be jmeter hyphen n which is not ji mode hyphen t which is the project file and then http 
request make sure you are giving the right file name http request.jmx hyphen l which is for the results file results.gtl hyphen e hyphen o and reports which is the reports folder and then here is the important one which is the advanced so the working directory has to be in our previous setup we just chose only the main folder and we had the file inside it but here in this execution we are going to go still deeper so we are going to choose the bin as our working directory i'm clicking on ok let's go to the control options we don't have anything there under the environment variables we don't have anything there under output variables nothing is there so so far we are good let's add our publish artifact publish release artifact let me add it now and then again the same thing so the path or the folder that should be uploaded again make sure you are choosing the bin as the folder and then go to the control options we have nothing else there again nothing in the output variables and we are good now let's save the file click ok let's create the release and then let's create the release release one is created let's start the execution without the jmeter but we are running the jmeter test let's go to the logs and let's check how does this execution is going well so this is what we did so let's do a quick recap so we have created a azure repo we did our jmeter setup we have connected and uploaded the file so what is the difference between our previous and this particular uh, setup is in a previous setup we had the jmeter execution in all our pipelines and then we had let's check let's check what has happened wrong let's go to the command script here okay let's we need to make some changes let me close it and let's come back there yeah so as i mentioned uh, the file name of this has got wrong so let me change it so let me i have given it as http without space so make sure you do not have any space within the uh, files and that will help you to run the test without any errors so let's go back to the pipeline and then let's run the release again let me run the release it should run fine let's go back deploy then let's do the logs and yeah so as we have discussing so we have got the jmeter as one of our steps during our setup and some of the testers who do not want that to happen and they wanted to run the test without the jmeter every time in their pipeline so because of that we have just kept only the jmx file and in this setup we have the entire setup but to make sure it has to be a jmeter light version without any other extra files got another error let's see what happens now so here we could see the file name is doesn't exist or cannot be open so after we have made the change so this is what we have given in the command line but after the change after we made the changes to i mean we renamed the file in the repo what we have to do is we'll have to create a new release so what we will do now is let's go to the releases and then we'll create a new release which is going to be the edit pipeline and then let's create a new release because this will avoid any other unnecessary changes and this will actually pick up the files from the changes what which whatever we have made so let's click on deploy and i'm deploying the file let's go to the logs and then yeah so just make sure after you make any changes create a new release and this is the very basic lesson so just create a new release and that should actually kick start all our changes and refresh the changes which whatever we have made so let's again go back here so this is the difference so we have a jmeter versus the jmeter so make sure this is going to be a light version of whatever we have anyways it's, it should but it should have the basic files which whatever is inside the bin but apart from that make sure you have the very necessary files the test files and everything which has to be little and this is again if you were able to upload any number of files but still this is to make sure you can at least build slowly that you can ramp up the files and then you can build up the projects 
And with that, we come to an end. I think we have completed, I mean, we are completing the test execution. And yes, we have successfully completed the test. And I believe this video is very useful to you. And again, I would like to thank my subscriber for asking this question again and again. And that has motivated me to create the video at around 12 midnight. Thank you so much again. Have a nice day. Until I meet you in another interesting video, it's Baba from Master Chanmugam and Little Slaw.